Today, I am doing way too many peace signs. Have you guys noticed that like I just do this <laughs> by default in all of my videos as like a defense mechanism for having no idea what to say or just being really uncomfortable? So I was supposed to film this video like three days ago and at a normal time of day, but you know, now it's 10 p.m. and then I'm gonna edit it all tonight, so. I love how after I graduated college, I was like, I'm finally never gonna pull an editing all-nighter again. And like, I'm doing two this week. So, <laughs> that's how the post-grad life is going. Also, I went for like a bit of an eyeliner look today because I'm going through a full-blown post-graduation emo existential crisis phase. When I was in college, it was cute shit like, how will I get good grades this quarter? When am I gonna graduate? And now I've just been hit with a big ass wave of like, who am I and what am I doing with my life? And how do I like not be a shitty person and help people, but then also like let myself be happy and not work all the time. <laughs> also, I swear I'm not trying to just be like hashtag relatable. I this is just like my brain right now. If you are having a good day and watching this, please don't let my existential doom get down. We're just gonna talk about some cute clothes now and hopefully it'll make both of us feel better. Maybe. <laughs> the first thing that I got is this chair. Pretty fucking cool, huh? I'm gonna talk more about this in my apartment makeover, which will come in like a month or so. But in the meantime, these chairs are fucking beautiful. You know, I don't believe in love at first sight for humans, but I do believe in love at first sight for me and furniture and these babies are it. I paid $90 for each chair, which like, I don't know how expensive furniture is supposed to be, but I think that's like a decent price, especially cause like, look at this detail. I literally look like King Joffrey, just ready to murder a prostitute. I don't think I can say that. Um, also, who's excited for Game of Thrones? I'm gonna watch the series anyway, even though the last season was absolute trash, and I think this season's gonna be trash too, but like, I'm too committed now. I've been watching that show since I was 13, which is too early to start watching Game of Thrones. Now I'm in a long-term relationship with the show and I just gotta finish it off. Oh, I also got this little pot for my plant. Oh, isn't this so adorable? I've been really getting into planting my plants in like vintage Tupperware. Tupperware, that's not Tupperware. That's <laughs> ceramic ware. This was $2, which is cheaper than a pot at Urban Outfitters, so. I thought that was adorable. Okay, anyway, on to the actual clothing, which is probably what you clicked for. I have some stuff from regular thrift stores to show you guys, but first I thought I would show you guys a couple things from an online thrift store. I got a couple pieces of clothing from ThreadUp, which if you guys don't know, is like basically a giant online thrift store and also the sponsor of today's video. And also, okay, um, basically they are a great option if you don't live near good thrift stores. It's a great way to be sustainable without paying like $300 for reformation. You can buy a couple pieces secondhand, save some money, do some good for the environment. We love it. The first thing that I got from ThreadUp is this little <laughs> boob tube. It's literally just like a tube of fabric <laughs> from Urban Outfitters. I got it for $10 and it originally would have cost around $30. Now, normally I'm not a big strapless top type of gal because this A cup is not providing structural integrity to anybody, but this one has a nice little rubberized sturdy lining on top. So I have not experienced too many technical difficulties yet. I'm also trying to like get more color in my wardrobe. I say as I'm wearing an all black and navy outfit, but I have been wearing neutrals for a very, very long time. So I'm trying to like level up my fashion sense a little bit. They also say wearing color is supposed to boost your mood. So <laughs> I could use some of that as well. Next up, I got these picnic bitch shoes. Oh yes, I am at that level now. At this point, I could wear an entire outfit of gingham, but I mostly just like how these look with a simple pair of jeans. They go really well with the tube top from earlier. Dresses up a little bit more of a casual outfit, gives it a vintage edge. I don't know, I'm so proud of these shoes. These are by the brand Impo, which I haven't heard of, but I was just scrolling through ThreadUp and these caught my eye. I paid $25 for them and they were estimated to cost around 60 originally. Speaking of picnic bitch, I got this gingham dress, which, okay, yes, <laughs> I do own a lot of gingham dresses, but in my defense, I love how comfortable this one is. During the spring when I'm feeling lazy too, I always just throw on a dress like this, put a denim jacket on top of it if it's cold, and it's like a really casual, looks put together outfit that took two seconds to put together. This is from Urban Outfitters. I got it for $15, and originally it was estimated to cost around 60, because Urban Outfitters got those steep, steep prices for it. What the fuck was that? Folks, 
I also got these pants, which I am so obsessed with. I feel like these are a hit or miss with people. You know in high school when you take American history and they make you read those political cartoons? With these pants on, I feel like one of the fat banker men <laughs> in the cartoons about capitalism, you know what I'm saying? Like fat 19th century banker, but make it fashion. These were from the brand Classiques Antier or something. Originally this was estimated to cost $268 and I got them for $32. Next up, I got this leopard cardigan. Yes, folks, I am going hardcore with the leopard trend. You guys know I try not to invest an insane amount of money in trendy pieces, <clears throat> Emma Chamberlain and her pink Gucci fanny pack, but this was only $20 and I do really like the leopard print trend. This is from Sparkle and Fade, which I believe they sell at Urban Outfitters. Originally, it was estimated to cost around $60. I like wearing it off the shoulder because I am scandalous like that and I wanna distract those boys. Lastly, from Thread Up, I got these kind of hooker looking shoes, but like a very well-paid hooker, if I may say so myself. I did do a modeling clip for these, so foot fetish folks, you are about to go off with this clip. These are from Topshop. I got them for $23, and originally they were estimated to cost around 100. I'm not sure if these are actually from the 2000s, but they give me like a really funky 2000, 2010 vibe. I love the animal print on the side. A theme emerges. Apparently I'm just really into leopard print. I think they'd look good with a black dress for like a night out. I don't really go out anymore, but like if I did, I also think they'd look great with something more masculine, like an oversized blazer. I think they could just to pose those masculine em eminence, emolence, elements really well. <laughs> and that's everything I got from ThreadUp. If you guys do want to check them out, you can use my code BESTDRESS to get 30% off your first order. You can also click the link in the description below. It'll do the same thing. So on to the rest of the haul. Okay, tell me this isn't the most precious thing ever. I got a 100% cashmere little cream cardigan with the most amazing gold buttons. I love a good vintage button, like, mmm, nut. Look at that detail. I don't know, I feel like I used to have a very, like, trendy, girly, minimalist style, and now I'm really getting into, like, opulent, old people things, if that makes sense. Like, I just want to be a rich old businessman with a library built into his house. Hence this armchair and this sweater. I would pair this over a little summer dress. I would pair it with a slinky top and some jeans. I could even button it up all the way and tuck it into a skirt and then make a little top with gold buttons. Also, just look at this label. This is the most old school label I've seen. Made in Scotland for Selfridges and it has what looks like the Lannister seal. Next up, I got this skirt. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Like I would have bought this new. Yeah, if I just am allowed to nerd out about colors for a second. I love that it's muted. It feels really vintage. Also, do you ever just think that you'd make a really good Pantone employee? For those of you who don't know, Pantone is the company that determines like the color of the year and the standard colors that manufacturers create within a given year. So like that's the reason that you can find a poof at Target that matches your chair that you got from Urban Outfitters because there are Pantone colors that are the most popular for manufacturers. Isn't that crazy? I feel like once my YouTube career dies, like Pantone, come for me. I'll just think about colors all day. Anyways, this skirt is so precious and twirly, and I've been loving recently the look of a casual t-shirt or a nice little button-up top with a midi skirt. Feels very like romantic and vintage inspired, and then you could even dress it down with a pair of sneakers if you wanted something more modern. Oh, look at me doling out this styling advice. Real talk, like I did not think this haul would improve my mood that much, but like I'm having a good time right now, so. <laughs> Existential crisis diverted. I got this little cami. You guys know I thrift a lot of silk camis, but this is one of my favorites. I don't know if you guys can see my nipples in the modeling clip, so like maybe ignore those. <laughs> yeah, the bra situation is always hard to figure out with these camis. Most of the time, I'll probably end up wearing this with like a blazer or a cardigan over to cover up the nips a little bit or layering it over a t-shirt or a long sleeve. So it just adds some detail to my outfit. More on the casual end. I got this graphic t-shirt. It is the most amazing feeling t-shirt I have ever felt. Like there's no point in me really trying to describe it because you won't be able to feel it through the camera. Almost like matte and quite heavyweight. And there's like, drape to the fabric. Anyways, it is by Uniqlo and I think it's like MoMA merch because it's also in collaboration with MoMA. Honestly, when I'm not like doing videos or photos, most of the time in the spring and summer, I'm just in a t-shirt and shorts. It's casual, it's comfortable. Sometimes when it gets hot enough, like you just can't be bothered to really give a shit about your outfit. I picked up this blouse 
which is, well, technically not a blouse. It's actually a bodysuit. Oh, ho, ho. I'm always on the hunt for tops that are fancy enough so I can just wear them with jeans. And it feels like kind of a nice top and jeans outfit. This one also looks so good with a plaid pair of pants. And then I can have my summer fin moment from 500 Days of Summer. Oh, that'd be so cute. Next up, I thrifted this little polka dot peplum blouse. Dare I say, this looks like something from Reformation, but it is from Forever 21 and admittedly made out of a much shittier fabric. I feel like this is the type of top that if I were wearing it and like sipping coffee and reading a book at a coffee shop, a guy would come up to me and then I'd get to marry him. Um, but instead I have David. David and me are getting to the point in our relationship where we just like make fun of each other, so. There you go. Now for a couple accessories. I picked up this purse. For the longest time, I never understood like, why do adult women like purses? I have my backpack and my pockets in my jeans. Why would I need anything else? But now that I finally graduated college, I realized like, there are some times where you just don't wanna carry a full backpack around with you. To be fair, I think they do also add an extra touch of like effort. And I'm an adult lady who really thought about putting together this outfit vibe to your look. I was attracted to this one because it has a very 2000s vibe with the shoulder strap. Like I could imagine somebody carrying their chihuahua in this. Also, I really only own like two other purses than this and they're both really small. So this is the perfect size to fit my notebook. So if I'm going to a coffee shop or going to the park as I do more often because I don't want to pay $7 for coffee in LA, I can bring my notebook with me and write and doodle in the park. I sound like such a hippie. I'm really just trying to figure out my life right now. So I'm like sitting in nature and planning things and writing will like help you figure out your life. <laughs> Is it working? Um, mm, I, I don't fucking know. I also got this belt, which is probably like one of my favorite thrift finds. Like look at the detail on that. It is so fucking cool. I feel like an MMA champion with this belt. I've been wearing it with a bunch of simpler dresses that I have. It cinches in the waist. It makes you look fancy. And yeah, it's just like such a cool statement piece that nobody else has. Also, I'm now just realizing that this kind of just looks like a gold mustache on a belt. And then the last thing I got are these shoes, which I actually got these like a year ago. I moved recently and found them again. And I was like, Damn, these are freaking cool. These shoes are that type of ugly, but cute <laughs> shoe. Like objectively the silhouette is not that flattering, but it's just, it's so funky. There's like five different colors of elastics. It's metallic uh, red. Why did my brain just blank on what color this was? I think they're gonna go really well with just some straight leg jeans and a basic t-shirt. And then bam, you got some color on your shoes. That is everything I have for you guys today. Sorry this wasn't like the biggest thrift haul, but I honestly thought about going out to buy more stuff specifically for this haul so it could be like a huge thrift haul. But I feel like that's really antithetical to the whole point of sustainable fashion or secondhand fashion to begin with. Cause like you're not supposed to get a shit ton of stuff that you don't need. So this is just all the stuff that I really, really like. Yeah, weirdly, though, like this really did make me feel better. This is super weird. Maybe I actually like fashion and I shouldn't feel super guilty about making fashion related videos because they're superficial. I have a lot going on in my brain right now. Thanks for sticking through my existential mess and I will see you guys next week. Bye.